Amid the hustle and bustle of Elephant and Castle lies the Coronet Theatre. By day it's closed, a part of the scenery, but by night it becomes home to some of the biggest events in London. This is the story of the Coronet. It's 1879 and on New Kent Road, the Elephant and Castle Theatre is built. Many famous faces would go on to perform there. But in 1932, the theatre was reconstructed and opened as a cinema. During the Blitz, it provided shelter for local residents. And it then underwent several name changes first as an ABC cinema in 1967, and then to the Coronet Cinema in 1989. After closing in 1999, the Coronet was refurbished and opened in 2003 as the Coronet Theatre we now know today. Throughout the 20th century, the Coronet played host to some of music's most popular artists. But more recently, it's become a mecca for students holding some of the biggest freshers' nights in South London. Everyone goes there, so you meet so many people. I've got friends that I've met there as well. Yeah. So. It's a good place to go. Like, if it's the right night, then it's a really great venue. You can like explore around yeah. different floors and stuff. Like, they don't just do like music events or something like that. I mean, they do like boxing events, like social stuff as well. I mean, it's good. It's like a lot of variety of stuff. Elephant and Castle has recently been threatened by regeneration and property development. I, I feel like everyone's sort of given up hope with it all, like, yeah. it's all changing and there's so, everyone's like, don't do this, don't do this, there's like so many things changing that I think everyone feels a bit hopeless. Under financial pressure from the landlords, the Coronet's director, Richard Littman, started a campaign. Save the Coronet really is about that fact that the developers are looking to knock the Coronet Theatre down alongside the shopping centre, which means the Coronet Theatre would be no more. The petition attracted thousands of signatures, showing the support for keeping the venue alive. There's nowhere else really in South East London where you'd be able to go to sort of see these types of things, and it's not as versatile. Despite all the changes to the area, the Coronet remains popular and attracts a quarter of a million visitors yearly. To me, it is and has been for a long time the cultural hub of South London. Thank <laughs> you.